don't smoke, kids. Unless you want to look cool. <laughs> Hello, folks. Now, I have uh, some brief questions for you, because Frontline just got done rocking a hell of a show here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Let's start from the top. Okay. What inspired you to begin rap? Um, just loving the rap music, I think. I always wanted to... I always kind of fantasized about being a rapper, you know? Um, but then I had to do it secretly because it was embarrassing. Because I, I was very good at it. I, no, actually, let's just say I wasn't very good at it. Um, <laughs> so I was putting things on anonymously, sort of on the website. And all the, the picture gallery on my website had pictures of other rappers with their faces blurred out and stuff like that. Nice. Um, and then eventually I had to go public because apparently the legitimate press refuses to cover you if you're um, <laughs> if you're pretending to be other rappers with their faces blurred out. <laughs> Nice. Now that's actually my next question. Uh, what led you to uh, decide to do this full time? The uh, the fan base built up to the point where touring was viable and people wanted to buy CDs and stuff. So I started making CDs to sell, and it's been working out. Nice, dude. <laughs> Due to the amazing generosity of the fan base. Very cool. Now I've uh, I've also been scribbling questions as they come to me, so okay. they might these might seem a little <laughs> out of order. Um, how's your back? Oh, back's all right. Okay. Because uh, in. Uh, in the documentary Nerdcore Rising, they uh, chronicled your back yeah. issues, and it goes out at one point in that film. Mm -hmm. But it's it's pretty good. I try and take care of it, stretch more. <laughs> uh, how's the tour going so far? The tour has had its ups and downs. We've had a string of pretty well attended shows here at the end, which is really nice. Um, we had a disaster about two weeks in. Uh, jackknifed the van and trailer. Louder! <laughs> we jackknifed the van and trailer. Isn't, aren't you recording it here? I'm recording it here. For She's got it there, too. Okay. Uh, we jackknifed the van and trailer, and then it broke off of the hitch and the chains, and it exploded, and all of our crap was all over the freeway, and our van blew a tire and spun out into the shoulder, and it was very scary. Lordy. Um, and a bunch of our stuff got broken, and it was a hassle. Now we are rocking the craptastic U-Haul nice. trailer. Yes, I can. Uh, I can happily state that I got the uh, Penny Arcade Expo 07 DVD with battle damage. With the so, road damage, yeah. It's a collector's item now. Uh, <coughs> how much? How much longer do you have left on the tour? We got one more show tomorrow night in New Jersey, and then we are home, sweet home. Nice, very cool. Um, <laughs> I actually had a question from a fan. Uh, how much did you get for your glasses when you sold them on your website? Um, I, they're still on there. They're still, they haven't oh, sold yeah. <laughs> No, I had them at like $575, and I marked them all the way down to five seventy four fifty. but still nobody has bought them, my old glasses. I was actually glad of that at one point, because I had to send my new glasses back to the shop, and then I had to wear my crusty old glasses for a while, and I was like, wow, I'm glad I <laughs> disastrously overpriced these in the store. Nice. Um... Now, uh, like you said, you've been doing this uh, for quite a few years now. Who do you consider to be some of your musical influences? I'm big into Tom Waits, um, like PJ Harvey, like Bjork a lot. Nice. Uh, soul Coughing. <clears throat> the rappers who I look up to are like Chuck D and De La Soul, Del, cool. Farside. Excellent. Um, what is your favorite deli sandwich? <laughs> uh, well, in Brooklyn, the bodegas all sell cheap uh, heroes, and I go for those. You should get these guys in. Absolutely. All right. Is he on already? All right. Um, they don't usually have my favorite, which is tuna. I mean, they usually have it, but it's kind of old looking. Mm. So I tend to go for a turkey and Swiss. Gotcha. Now, uh, everybody knows that you're a, a bit of a video game aficionado. What are you playing right now? Let's see. Still sort of finishing up uh, GTA 4 and Crackdown. Um, I haven't got Spore yet. I haven't had a chance to install the second episode of Rain Slip Precipice. But that's high on my list. That's next. Very cool. Um, I'm going to be home over the holidays in San Francisco, and my buddy who works at EA has a PS3, so I'm going to go play Little Big Planet for a while. Nice. Um, I just recently pulled out uh, Psychonauts and played that through again as soon as I figured out how to hook up my Xbox controllers to my PC. 
That, that's one of the greatest games. I've played that through like four different times. My buddy uh, Scott Campbell did the art direction. Very cool. It's fantastic. Well, Scott Campbell also did the uh, the art, the cover art. Lies! Lies! All of you, lies! Folks, Our colorful folks. Uh, Pittsburgh locals. Absolutely. Actually, look at the hat. That's he's with the band. <laughs> Black Lotus, ladies Black and gentlemen. Lotus. Bass player for the uh, Front Lot crew. Say hi to the folks. Lies! <laughs> he believes them to be lies. Um, oh! oh <laughs> there's a ruckus. No monkey That's business part. on the ice, boys. That's the most fun. There is a the ruckus. Uh, tell me, here? if you Mosh were not... Mosh pit right here. If you weren't doing this currently, what would you be doing? Uh, uh, we've got like blood. blood. I mean, my, not like other people's. <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah, you're cute. Baby. What is that, a phone or a camera? They're recording. It's okay. Oh, that's all right. It is okay. I'm just making cute comments. Um, I think this uh, this question can apply to, to uh, everyone around here. Do you feel that uh, the nerdcore genre, the rappers, the artists, uh, have to have to hustle a lot harder and push a lot harder uh, to get the same level of recognition as normal rap artists? Uh, weirdly, no. It's probably the opposite because there's like a million rappers who uh, are not nerdcore rappers and they're all sort of competing directly with each other. <laughs> Whereas we are in this tiny pond. Nice. Uh, do you have any inspiring words for up and coming nerdcore artists? Uh, yes, all of your dreams are possible. Uh, just pirate the correct software and learn how to use it and practice. And now we're going to introduce YT Cracker. Absolutely. He's being shy. YT Cracker. YT Cracker. You're rocking the like, uh, A rap look to me. Yeah. Are you, do you have any advice for uh, aspiring nerdcore rappers? Step your games up. Step your games up. Step your games up. Please step your games up. Yeah, please step your games up. Please wait until we are finished. <laughs> <laughs> We've used it. Beat well, that show. leads into my next question. What is next for Front A Lot, and what's next for YT Cracker? Why do you want to go first? Yeah, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna take my daughter to Disney World and then I'm gonna quit music and I'm gonna become a fisher in <laughs> Mexico. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I, you that's it. what I'm gonna do also. <laughs> that sounds pretty nice, I'll be honest with you. I, uh, wait, I have answers okay. that are less hilarious. <laughs> I'm gonna um, have the premiere of Nerdcore Rise of the Movie in New York. I think that's February 13th. Going to rock that show at night, and maybe all we will wear tuxedos again. Cool. We'll bring like a little scrap of red carpet, <clears throat> stomp on it, <laughs> and demand that we be interviewed while stomping on <laughs> our scrap of red carpet. And then uh, I'm going to keep pushing this record. I'm supposed to be Spins Artist of the Day the day after tomorrow. As soon as the tour is over, they're going to be hyping us up nice. uselessly. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine their they're, they're still they, awkward. They did the Even in the nerd oh, brains, no. <laughs> we've spent six weeks together and we can't get our hands I aspire to make a website that is a place for everyone to post songs they've written about Magic the Gathering. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> magic devoted <laughs> song posting site. Huge um, aspirations. We're going to play Lovely South ambitious. by Southwest again. Hacks uh, East Coast is coming up in 2018. A bunch of stuff. I'll probably put another record next year. Well, uh, you guys have fantastically rocked Pittsburgh. Uh, the show was absolutely spectacular. I didn't think it would happen, but uh, here we are, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, uh, thanks, guys. Uh, Thank you. Websites. Tell everyone your websites. Frontalot.com. Also, nerdcorerising.com. Ytcracker.com. Or email me at rapper at gmail.com. And don't forget, digitalgangster.com. Yeah, that's it. BrandonBatten.com has MP3s that are not nerdcore. Well, nice. they're kind of dorky. The dork core. Dork. It's my special genre that I created. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, guys. Thank you.